What is going on outlaws, Michael or Legacy Kill HD back with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video for you and today we have a huge leak that has broken from a Rockstar Games employee that we're going to be breaking down and honestly I have to admit that this is some crazy information that I'm surprised to hear. But I do ask if you enjoy the video make sure to smack that like button and if you've missed any of the past videos about this upcoming Red Dead title make sure you check out the playlist a link in the description a lot of amazing news information and theories about this upcoming title that you're not going to want to miss so make sure you guys give that a look. Nonetheless let's begin discussing this leak. As as I stated before, this individual is claiming to be a Rockstar Games employee, and in the last couple months he's been leaking some huge Grand Theft Auto Online DLC. He leaked the Biker DLC, and just recently the Import Export Online DLC. So he's definitely racked up a credible reputation, but I do want to mention that this Rockstar Games employee has a lot of vulgar language that he uses, which is evident with his username. So this actual leaked information comes in response to another posting by another anonymous user in which they were saying it's going to be a multiplayer focused story game somewhere between The Division and Destiny. Destiny, rest in peace Red Dead. And this Rockstar Games employee came in and said, you fuckers sicken me, it'll be just like Redemption, single player story, open world stranger events, gang hideouts, and all that shit. Three playable members of John's former gang, and John is not one of them. Now just from this information alone, you can say that I am pretty shocked. I was really hopeful that Rockstar Games would only have one playable character. With Grand Theft Auto V, I felt like that was one of its biggest flaws, Michael, Franklin, and Trevor, they weren't developed enough, and there wasn't enough emotional depth throughout the game. I don't recall any moments throughout the story where I was surprised or even shocked. And that's why by the ending of the game, I didn't really care about anything that happened to these characters. But if you compare this to some of the other Rockstar titles such as Red Dead Redemption, Bully, Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, those stories actually touched me, and what happened to those characters really had an impact on me. So you can definitely say that I'm a little bit worried at this point about this next Red Dead title. But I'm hoping that we can come back to this video one year later and laugh all about this and say that Red Dead Redemption 2 was one of the best games that Rockstar Games has ever made, and that three playable characters actually worked for once. But there's another huge detail, and that is that these three playable characters will be of John's former gang. And if that is the case, it definitely sounds like this is not going to be a completely new story, which a lot of people were thinking that Rockstar Games may have planned. And in fact, this may be a story about Dutch's gang. Based on the first Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer and poster, I definitely think that there's a possibility that these three playable characters may be completely new to the series. And up to this point, we only know about one of the playable characters because it's that center character that's within the poster and within the trailer. We know nothing about him, although it looks like he's in a leading role. And the other playable characters are more than likely one of the other individuals that are seen on this poster. We already know that John Marston is not one of them. The center character definitely is going to be a protagonist. We obviously have Bill Williams and Dutch Vanderlyn. We have a Native American individual, an older gentleman, and a character that looks very similar to Jack Swift from Red Dead Revolver. But the next question that I have from all this is if the game really is about Dutch's gang, will it be about the rise of the gang maybe in the late 1800s, or will it be about the downfall when John Marston almost dies in the failed robbery of 1907? which pretty much at that point ended the old gang and led to the events of Red Dead Redemption. But I do ask you guys to let me know in the comment section what do you think about Dutch's gang? Do you think it should be the main point of the storyline for Red Dead Redemption 2? And if so, what characters do you want to see as the playable characters? But now back to this leaked information when this Rockstar Games employee says the game will be alike to Red Dead Redemption, we'll be seeing stranger events and gang hideouts, a lot of that's not really surprising, but it's nice to get some reassurance. This guy honestly at this point is doing more PR work than Rockstar Games has done at least at this moment. But now continuing on with this post, he says the online mode will release later on just like with Grand Theft Auto V. If it came out day one, nobody would play the single player and you fucks would crash the servers, which I'm guessing would be a problem for him as he would have to fix it. Now I will say that it's quite interesting that he's saying that the online mode won't release directly with the game because he is right with Grand Theft Auto V. The game launched on September 17th, 2013 and the online mode went live I believe October 1st, 2013, which is just two weeks. But either way, it does make sense if Rockstar Games wants to make sure that the the online mode is up to 100% and that these servers and everything is sorted out before they finally make it live. But anyway outlaws, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to smack that like button if you did enjoy the video or found any informative value. Also drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on this leak because I think this is definitely some huge information that a lot of us did not expect to hear. And I think it's safe to say that I'm your best source for everything to do with this upcoming Red Dead title. So make sure you consider subscribing for a lot more additional Red Dead Redemption 2 content to come. And remember, outlaws to the end.